I just lost my job and I have no home. I'm on the streets. Oh no! Flirty kissing sticker. <laughs> Hi, how are you? My name's Beta, and today we'll be going over the best furry memes that you could send me. Time to get stuff done today. Procrastinating, procrastinating. I didn't get anything done today. But yeah, furry memes. I'm out of money and I gotta pay rent, so uh, let's go over them. It's like a fine wine aged so, so perfectly. I love the Pacanines. I would pay so much goddamn money just to get a picture with all of them. I got a pic with them. Did you, Russ? Could you hook me up? <laughs> I sent you the pic. Ooh. God damn it. Why can't that be me? God, I wish that was me. A lot of these are classics. Like this meme from Tiny Deer Guy. Like, hey, baby, you want to come back to my place? And it's just Trash Panda. Nice place. To be honest, it's better than the last place that I lived in. My horny ass can not be a Pokemon trainer. What does this mean? What do you mean by this? <laughs> I feel like this is something like a concerned parent would say, or like someone that just, you know, is just learning about how the internet works. Shep is literally the king of relatable memes. And this one, whoo, the bouncing of the leg. Can you stop doing that? It's annoying. Shut up, Susan. I'm sorry you don't have ADHD. What do you want me to do? Stop bouncing and explode? Oh man, there was a really annoying Visco girl in my middle school who would always give me shit and, and was really obnoxious about it too, for like me bouncing my leg whenever I was taking a quiz or an exam. I said some things to her when I literally lashed out similar to this. Point being, I relate with this. Coming out as gay. Want to see me disappoint my family? <laughs> being a fur- Want to see me do it again? Uh, at the very least, I'm glad that these two weren't put to <laughs> put together. IT students turning into a fem- Hey, 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 what I say about the femboy memes? The I swear I'm not a furry guy's starter pack. I mean, it is true when you do this, you know. I'm not a furry, but I have a fursuit. I'm subscribed to furry channels. I post furry art to furry IRL. Mom, go play with the neighbor's kid. The neighbor's kid. You know, that was the one person that only ever talked to me in middle school. I mean, they weren't a furry. They were just weird and oddly obsessed with Sonic, like more so than me. Also, like props to this dude for holding onto a wall horizontally for that long to take a clear enough picture. Parkour fox. I mean, to be fair, I'd want to hang out with this fox wolf if I could. I mean, to be fair, I'd also hang out with the neighbor kid if they defied gravity like this. It just seems natural that you'd want to. You know, a high pitch like Ariana Grande. Let's hear it. All right. <laughs> and what's your? It's just a screaming TikTok. I love it. But hey, it's furry VR chat, so it works out. Talent, young man. I can do a high pitch like Ariana Grande. <laughs> I like this kid's tone. It's funny. <laughs> Let's so matter of fact. The first one is a screenshot of something my friend had happen in a moddy game of Stellaris and posted to a shared Discord server. I clicked randomized species name once and I got a very fitting result. Interesting. Oh no. Oh, oh no. I wonder if this is what Russ feels like at times. My friend Russ. Wonderful, wonderful beam, by the way. But every single month he opens for commissions, I am always on top of filling out a form, like, immediately. This is clever. I like it. Calm. I'm gonna be honest. I wasn't even reading this, but at first I thought it said Coom. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? What do you, what do you want from me? You know, it's normally supposed to say Doom and there's a C here. Well, my brain's gonna fill in the rest before I read it. <laughs> Judge me all you want. This is how I'm looking at it. Oh, Tiny Rabbit is obsessed with Giant Girlfriend who's four times his size. This is fucking adorable. I love this dynamic, low-key. Like, even just romantically, this is adorable. I know, like, this is less of a furry meme than it is just, like, cute art, you know? It's just, it's just adorable. I think it's adorable. And my hope is lost. Clever usage of a meme format. I just wasn't expecting it to take the turn that it did here. This is probably one of the most ancient furry memes I've ever seen. I came in my room and this giant stuffed animal was on my bed. And I don't- <laughs> I came in my room and this giant stuffed animal was on my bed. And I don't- <laughs> I'm just surprised that no one has like recreated this in like a meme format before. You know, this has so much potential and it's only been done as far as I know once. Also, I think it's funny because the first thing he says in the video is came. Listen, 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 I'm right. came in my room and this giant and stuffed animal was on my bed. Oh, and I don't <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh, wait, hang on, stop. You don't want to do this. Listen, I've been a good boy. I've been a good boy, please. I've been such a good boy. Don't do it. No. <laughs> 
I never thought I'd hear Markiplier's voice in a furry video. Oh man. Oh, the amount of situ the amount of the amount of times that I have been in that situation of being dragged away. And usually it's not a good situation. And also, Rail is funny and he's a good dude. Wasn't this another meme format? I remember seeing the cover them up slut part before. I like it. Also, only 8,900 likes. Come now, come now. There should definitely be more. Actually, no, I I, I gotta disagree with the request here. Don't, don't, don't cover them up. Come on. Melee players, young furries, fox only. Literally me playing Smash Bros. I am once again asking for your RAM. We've literally seen this before. You know, it's nice to see it again. Also, what do like protogens do with RAM? I never understood that. Is it just supposed to be like, like a uh, Pocky? Like just like a, a pixie stick or something that you eat? Is RAM to a protogen just breadsticks? That's why I Oh, well that's only if they like just recently cleaned the floors or if there happens to be lube on the floors. Ooh, is this Boneworks? <laughs> God, this is how I want to be booped by my friends. By my friends, let me clarify. If you walk up to me and hit me with a pan at a convention, I will press charges against you. When you're drawing animals in art class, but you can't draw too well or people might get suspicious that you're a furry. You know, you got a point. I can only imagine how this used to be for like kids in school. You know, they couldn't draw too, too good. Otherwise, you know, it'd be suspected that they're a furry. Oh, I saw that. That was interesting. The fuck? Eh, makes sense. When you're with your non-furry friends and you get a little too oh well. You know, I sort of had a little bit of this. You know, I know this is one of those oh well memes, but this transitions into a bit of a story. Because low-key, I had a sort of phase when I was, like, attending furry conventions frequently in, like, 2019 to 2020 or so. Where I'd, like, I'd pat my friends on the head all the time to say hi to them. And just, like, it was sort of, like, an awkward thing that I did to avoid being too awkward. Where I just, like, would interact with them a bit more instead of just standing there like a jackass doing nothing so i'd pet them on the head and i got so used to that that when i got back from my convention and started taing again for my classes in college i almost accidentally uh patted one of the students in the class on the head like i was yay close to doing that and then i i noticed and i played it off by me trying to swat away a fly true story they were just like oh i finally got it in the problem like good for you just stupid fly we found it we found the classic i just lost my job and i have no home i'm on the streets oh no flirty kissing sticker <laughs> I swear, I've done at least three videos talking about this one specific meme so many times. It's so good because it's relatable because unfortunately furries are this way. I've had conversations akin to this. Maybe not me being, you know, homeless and jobless, but in similar situations of like, you know, I lost a loved one or, you know, I'm having a really bad day. They're just like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then they immediately go to like flirty horny stickers. Like you could it just... <laughs> I, I think this is going to be an ageless meme. This is going to be ageless. As long as furries continue down the path that they are in not being able to read the room or being non-empathetic in certain situations, this will remain prevalent. Need a quick snack because you're hungry? Chew on deer antlers. <laughs> Unlimited head sticks for just $5.99. Your chances of getting killed by a cat are low, but never zero. You know, you're not wrong. Cats do have that energy. I'll have a fox or a wolf with blue fur how original and they hate being called cute daring today aren't we <laughs> literally my favorite meme format whenever someone's making a fursona i may look the same same clothes same haircut but i'm a much better person than i used to be that's a little bit of motivation for you you know every single day think about it this way you're never taking a step backwards always taking a step forwards whether it's through time with existential dread or it's just because you're improving as a person there's a, there's a, there's a little bit of wholesomeness for you the Fuck? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, that's creepy. What is what are you? What are you drinking my house? What are you? No, no, it's a furry! 
my mom when I come home to visit. Quite literally, has happened before. Because genuinely, I thought it was really genuinely wholesome at one point to show up at home in fursuit. You know, just to like surprise my mom and give her a nice fluffy hug and surprise my parents because it was like, you know, family night or whatever. But little did I know I hadn't shown my mom my suit before. So she was kind of freaked out a little bit the first time. So I, I, I relate with this TikTok. I'm sorry, mom. When parents want to take a photo with you more than their kid does. <laughs> You know, the more that I think about it and the more that I say it, the furry fandom is somewhat pay to win. What are you winning? Affection and love from your parents, I guess. Oh my god, someone made the fucking meme for- Someone made the Drake meme format for me? Oh my god. Wait, when did they post this? How did they predict that I'd go over this, like, weeks later? And talk literally about how the furry version of a meme format is better? Holy shit, whoever this lemon warrior is. That's also really cool. I've always wanted to have my Sona or personas drawn in the original Drake meme format. And I'm totally open to having more of these, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. I was <laughs> That threw me off. The fuck? What is this? This has some energy. I don't know what energy yet, but it's it's energy. Comfort solutions. Air conditioning, heating, plumbing. So comforting that you'll dab and start flossing. Even the dog will do it too. What on earth? And a good deal is hard to find. So you have to get Foxy. Let Foxy do the hard work and get you a better energy deal. I don't remember this commercial. I've seen DNF Duel. You can mod characters into- th That is fucking cool. How do I mod my character into this? I don't- I'm not a fan of 2D fighting games like this, to be honest. I suck at them. But this is awesome. DNF Duel. You can mod characters into this. So that's what Keith's been up to. Can I like, or rather, can someone mod my model if I have a model? I don't even know if I have a good model to work with this. But can someone mod me into this game so I can play it and, and beat up non-furries? What the hell is this? Among Us? What the hell? Is that a Burger King Tatum? Why have I not heard of this? It's a Tatum, so you automatically win in the in the meme category. Guys, we came across a wild furry. Excuse me, furry. What is your wisdom? 14, Baba Booey. Every waking moment is pain and agony, and I cannot wait for the inevitable demise that will claim us all. Among us. <laughs> is, that, is that chills? What is your wisdom? Is that the chills? You know, I've always thought that a Tatum's voice was that. Hard to swallow pills, some furries are straight. I know, but it's a meme, it's a joke, okay? The Sergals at the park are free. <laughs> Are Sergals in the furry world just ducks? So what's this? Name a furry animal costume you'd like your man to wear to bed. Yeah. Cinderella. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, hey. <laughs> Furry's getting random DMs. That's a threat. Hey, a letter. I have friends. Oh, that's not a letter. That's a threat. <laughs> I've never gotten a I've never gotten a DM from someone saying I have friends. It's usually just hi or how are you. But like this is also, you know, this the energy and delivery here is fantastic. Hey, a letter. I have friends. Oh, that's not a letter, that's a threat. <laughs> hey, a le <laughs> just the casual realization. What if toys had feelings? What if rats had feelings? What if cars had feelings? What if feelings had feelings? And finally, what if furries had feelings? Oh, that's just adorable. And it's true. You should trust Sailor Moon Scout. They are a scientist and they work on the Pfizer vaccine. Fun fact, I did a whole video talking about that. What the fuck? It's so tiny though. Maybe you can decipher this. So this is the meme we're gonna leave things off with. Oh, I thought it was a stick. Oh, I thought they were playing fetch and the dog was like, no, bad human. Oh 
Oh, well, I, I misinterpreted the meme. Either way, don't smoke cigarettes. There you go. That's a good lesson to end things off on. Tobacco's bad for you. Don't smoke it. But either way, honestly, you guys have some pretty good memes. We scrolled through a bunch of them and couldn't find really any others that weren't repetitive, but it still got the message across that, hey, you know, you don't always have to go the usual stereotypical furry top and bottom femboy fox protogen eating ram memes to make things funny. Create something that's relatable and, you know, something that's been funny to you for years and kind of speaks to you that you can make your own memes from it. But either way, that's about gonna do it for me. We've gone over the memes and that's about it. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me. Have a good night, stay life jacket, and take care. Bye.